Hello, and welcome to Hofstra's longest-running television show, For Your Island. I'm Melanie Rubin, and today we'll be exploring Long Island from the high-octane thrills of outdoor paintball to the smooth soundscapes of the New York Jazz Academy. Miles Davis once said, don't play what's there, play what's not there. At the New York Jazz Academy, it doesn't matter if you're 18 or 80, musicians of all types flock here to hone their skills and produce sweet jazz. Prepare your ears for the sounds of the New York Jazz Academy. You know, when I started New York Jazz Academy, there wasn't a lot like it out there on the scene. Um, and we started in Manhattan and eventually branched into Long Island. And across the board, I really wasn't seeing that community involvement on every level. Well, for me, I really like mentoring uh, jazz students of all ages. And it doesn't matter to me whether it's a very young player or an older player. As long as they have a passion to work on jazz and to learn it, that's the key. And uh, I think for us to be able to celebrate this music together um, on all levels, uh, Working on it uh, as students and teachers, also gigging with this music, that's a beautiful thing. I think what makes New York Jazz Academy stand out is that it's a, a true safe workshop setting. It's a, like a laboratory and a safe workshop. Yes, I know the changes are there, and I'm working on the changes, but I'm going to vault myself into a, a different frame of mind where now I'm owning the solo melodically, too. So. The critique you get, the suggestions you get, uh, you know, the body language, the words are so nurturing. <laughs> When Sophia was um, finishing uh, elementary school in sixth grade, she had a really good experience uh, with the school teacher there, and had he had introduced her to some jazz, and she got very excited about it. We were looking for a way for her to continue that. She's been playing alto sax since fourth grade and it's really she really enjoys it so that's how we got here we were looking for you know some way for her to continue and the jazz academy it's a great place to boost your confidence because everyone's very welcoming and friendly and most of the people i play with at school they get very nervous when they're going to play for an, a performance and I have that advantage that I, I don't get very nervous when I play because I have this place to boost my confidence. There's such a rich tradition of learning in jazz. You know, in the old days, you'd learn from each other. When I started college, there were only a few college pro university programs in, in jazz. I had a, a wonderful university experience, but there's so much to learn. And you need guidance. You see, that's the, what keeps me coming back is I know myself as a learner. I was a professional educator for 25 years, so I know a little about teaching and learning. I need the direction and I need the coaching. So that's why I come. It's been fascinating to me to see students who have been working through the Jazz Academy then go on and really forge ahead with their own music careers independently of the Academy. That's a, that's a thrill for us. Those musicians are so talented, they could be playing Radio City in no time. If you like what you heard, check out the New York Jazz Academy in Mineola. Maybe you can be the next John Coltrane. <laughs>